WBQH is a radio broadcasting station in the Washington, D.C. region, licensed to Silver Spring, Maryland. It broadcasts a regional Mexican format. The station signed on December 7, 1946 as WE, airing a beautiful music format. It was believed that WE was named for one-time owner, Connie B. Gay, though it was merely coincidental, at the time, beautiful music connoted a bright and gay happy sound. However, Gay bought the station in the late 1950s early 1960s. It was later purported that the station initially broadcast government job openings, and that WE stood for government and you. The original owners and operators, Ed Winton and Bob Chandler, are credited with creating the beautiful music format, which was mostly instrumental music, with orchestral covers of show tunes, soundtrack excerpts, and standard popular songs. Chandler was known to arrange for recording of music that he did not have in the station's library. In addition, on Sunday afternoons at 1 o'clock p.m., Matinee at one played a complete Broadway show soundtrack with an explanation of the plot. Despite its sobriquet of elevator music, Boogie was popular, and was soon sold to Connie B. Gay. On February 1, 1960, the way calls were moved to the FM band at 99.5 MHz, while the AM station became WQMR, for Washington's quality music radio. We initially operated as an experimental country music station but started simulcasting WQMR full-time around 1961. These simulcasts would usually end nightly at sunset when WQMR had to sign off as required by the FCC, and WE was rarely mentioned on the air or in advertisements. WQMR soon increased in power from 1,000 watts on the AM band, while WE would upgrade from 20 kilowatts to a 50 kilowatt stereo signal. Both WQMR and WE moved to the World Building, located on Georgia Avenue, just north of the intersection of Maryland Route 410 and Silver Spring, in 1966. This simulcast arrangement continued well into the 1980s, as WQMR reverted to WE. Winton and Chandler sold the station on September 1, 1984 to Greater Media, which in turn ended the simulcast and changed the call. Letters to WNTR Greater Media subsequently bought WRC from NBC Radio and sold WNTR to TM Productions. Later, WNTR was sold to Pat Robertson, the televangelist and founder of the Christian Broadcasting Network, who used WNTR as the anchor of a conservative talk radio network dubbed the News Talk Radio Network. WNTR was also the first station to carry Rush Limbaugh in Washington, before he moved to Wall. This ended when the World Building Studios caught on fire. However, Robertson's company continued to run the station from another building in Silver Spring for a time, initially as part of his network and later in a brokered program format. In the early 1990s, it became one of two Washington, D.C. area affiliates of the Radio Oz Network for Children. As Radio Oz, the station's call letters became WKDL. The concept was not successful at the time, and Metro Radio then bought the station, and switched WKDL to a Spanish-language format. When that did not succeed, it briefly carried first the Genesis Radio Network of Conservative Talk, and then a business radio format under the WPLC call sign. Bonneville International then bought the station in 2004, at which point the station became WIFT, carrying Federal News Radio, a news-slash-talk format oriented to government employees that Bonneville had launched as an internet-only station on February 22, 2000. Initially, Fared the Associated Press All News Radio service during the overnight hours, as a complement to Bonneville's main all news station, POP. When AP All News Radio was terminated, the station began an affiliation with CNN Headline News, which itself was phased out in 2007 by provider Westwood One. In November 2007, the 1050 frequency increased its daytime power from 1 kilowatt to 3. 5 kilowatts in order to better reach the government office workers in Washington, D.C who comprise Federal News Radio's core audience. The station's logo is Air America Washington reflected Wiz's operation by Air America. In August 2008, Wiz was moved to 1500 AM, following the discontinuation of that frequency's previous occupant, WWWT. This move significantly improved Wiz's daytime and nighttime coverage. While the 1500 facility is a 50,000-watt clear channel station, 1050 must power down to 44 watts at night, effectively limiting its nighttime coverage to Prince George's County. After a month-long transition period, 1050 was switched to a simulcast of WTOP-FM, under the top call letters. From June 17, 2009 until January 25, 2010, the station aired a news, 
Talk and information format, mostly provided by Air America, which leased the station from Bonneville, the call letters were then changed to WIZA. Air America announced its closure and ended live programming on January 21, 2010, and went off the air on January 25th. As a result, WIZA reverted to the WTOP FM simulcast and changed its call letters back to top on February 1st. That June, the simulcast again ceased, and 1050 was leased out to United Media Group, who launched the current regional Mexican format and WBQH call sign. Bonneville announced the sale of WBQH, as well as 16 other stations, to Hubbard Broadcasting on January 19, 2011. The sale was completed on April 29, 2011. In addition to the main station, WBQH is relayed by one FM translator to widen its broadcast area. Thanks for watching.